Um, so first of all, I'll show you some exercises with the um, little hand weights. So we're going to start just with a simple um, bicep curl. So you hold your hands, palms facing forward, hands, arms down by your side, strong in your core, connect your ribcage, tummy muscles, tailbone down, and feel that lengthening through the hips. Then as you exhale, just keep the elbows where they are and bend the arms up towards your chest. And again, exhale and bend, inhale on the lower. Keep the tummy pulled in, tailbone down, keep nice and long in your torso. Make sure your head is in the right position and no tension anywhere but the biceps on your arms. And now moving on to the triceps. I'll go sideways for this so you can see the position. Again, nice strong torso in your kneeling position. You can always also do this sit seated if it's easier or um, leaning back against a wall with your knees bent and the back flat. And that's quite good for uh, protecting the back. So we start with the hands on the bony part of your pelvis and elbows pointing behind you. Shoulders down, tummy pulled in, tailbone down. On the exhale, literally just straighten the arms from the elbows and bring them in again on the inhale. And in, so nothing moves apart from the elbow joint. The shoulders are pulled down, elbows pointing as far backwards as you can, and just that movement from the elbow joint, exhaling to straighten, inhale to bend. And make sure you come back just to that starting position by the side of your pelvis. Don't bring it too far forward or lose that position of the upper limb. Have to stay exactly where it is, pulling the shoulder blades down the whole time. Don't do too many, because if you lose your form, uh, it won't work, okay? So you can always come back to it later on. If that's difficult for you, or you just particularly want to do one arm at a time, um, uh, you can do it kneeling. So we're in a knee, four point position here, hand under the shoulder, knees under the hips. Take the arm behind you slightly higher than your torso, and then just bend and straighten. Again, the upper limb, upper arm stays completely still. You're just moving from the elbow joint, keeping the wrist still as well, there's nothing going on with the wrist. Just moving from the elbow joint and extending. And extend. And extend. And about 10. I wouldn't do any more than that. Do 10, have a rest, do the other side, or go to another exercise and come back to it. So now we're going to work the deltoid on the top of the shoulder. Again, hand weight in each hand. Nice strong position. Again, you can do this standing against a wall or seated. As you exhale, pull in the tummy, draw the shoulder blades down on your back as you lift the arms out to the side and back again. So don't go too high. The shoulders should stay down as you're lifting the arms. There's no point lifting the arms higher than you're able to because you'll lose the point of the exercise. So tummy in, shoulders pulling down as you're lifting up, up, up. Palms are facing down as you're holding the weight. Not too heavy with this one because it's quite a long lever. You don't want to do this with really heavy weights. And again, draw down, pull in the tummy and lift. And again, exhale, draw in the tummy, pull the shoulders down, lift the arms without lifting the shoulders. And one more. And down. I don't know how many that was, but again, up to 10. Okay, so now we're going to um, use the TheraBand. You can first of all do the tricep seated and place the TheraBand around your feet. Hold on to it so that you can place your hands on your uh, side of your pelvis again with the elbows pointing behind you. And as you exhale, you're going to straighten the arms and bend them in. Exactly as you did with the weights, you're pulling against the resistance of the band. If this is too difficult or your band is quite short, you can just do it with one arm. So you get a little bit more length through the um, theraband. Again, the main, the main things to remember is the shoulders stay still 
Elbows stay still, but just extend here and bend here. And the hard work is on the out breath. So you exhale to straighten, inhale to come back. And now um, another tricep exercise, you can do kneeling on one end of it and you can either place um, a pile of books or blocks on this band or a roller. I quite like the roller because you can move it quite easily if you want to increase the resistance. You're going to hold it with the opposite hand, palm down and place this hand on the roll. So you're leaning over, away from the arm that's up in the air. Make sure your hips are over your knees, your tummy's pulled in, you're not arching the back or flaring the rib cage. And then literally again, you just straighten from the elbow and bend. Nothing else changes or moves. Exhale to straighten, inhale to lower. And exhale. Keep that upper arm completely still. No movement in it at all. Palm facing down and just straighten. Watch you do it. Flex into the wrist. Imagine a little splint on your wrist and there shouldn't be any movement. So you're leading with the knuckles of the fingers. And then we do that the other side. Kneel on one end. Hold for the opposite hand, lean onto the roll so that you're in a good per curved position, stretching out between the rib cage and the pelvis. Hand over your head, palm facing down, and you're going to lead with these nickel, um, knuckles. Okay, so on the out breath, and again, keep the elbows still, keep the tummy pulled in, don't arch the back or flare the rib cage. Again, up to 10 if you can, but less if you can't hold that position. And down. Good, and now one more. And this is quite a shoulder stabiliser, as well as working the arm. So again, you're going to kneel on the band. Hold on to the end of it. And with, between your thumb and your forefinger, hand by the ear, elbow pointing outwards. Again, same rules apply, draw the shoulder down, draw in the tummy, connect with your rib cage. And as you exhale, just pull the shoulder down as you're stretching the arm with the fingers pointing up to the ceiling. And again, exhale to stretch. Don't worry if you don't straighten the arm completely. It's much more important to draw the shoulder blade down and keep it in place than straighten the arm. You're really working around those shoulder stabilizers as well as the arm. And one more, exhale to stretch and down. And then the other side. Again, hold it between the thumb and the forefinger, elbow out to the side, fingers up to the ceiling. Strong in your core, and then just straighten as far as you can go. Keep the shoulder pulling down, as you're pushing the arm up, extend and down. And again, stretch as you exhale, inhale, come back, elbow pointing out to the side. Shoulder down, tummy in, feel the glutes working to hold this position of your torso, long in the hip flexors. Good. And now make sure after you do that, you stretch out with the arms, you can either lie on the floor and open your arms out to the side, or ideally, if you've got a roller, just lie on the roll and open the arms out to stretch the pecs, or go into the chicken wing exercise and just hold like this. 